enemy, we are led to signs and wonders. I say your God is on the mountain. Your ship will never sink. from now. Look out for Jesus. When everyone that comes to the office to work have gone, look out for Jesus. When your friends whom you trust have turned their back to you, look out for Jesus. And the people you started the race with stop. The course is too tough. Lift your head above the cloud. See a light breaking through the clouds. Jesus is not far away from your tossed sheep. He never waits until you sink. Before he arrives. So, your boat may shake. Your boat may almost sink. But faithful is he that calls. He will sink. Everybody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. The sheep will not sink. Because the master is going to appear. Maybe it's your marriage sheep being tossed right now. Maybe it's your financial sheep that is at mercy. But God has told me to tell you. Because I'm on the mountain. And because I sent you. How many of you know God sent you here? I said, how many of you know that God sent you here? That's why you are not one of the multitudes. The multitudes are right now on the streets. The disciples are inside. Somebody say amen. amen. Men of God, God knew you before he called. He marked you that you could face the storm. Even when you cry loud and about to die, he who called you will stand in the world. Sometimes, sometimes the wind gets so mysterious that when we see Jesus, we think he's a ghost. That's mine. I have seen many ghosts several times. And I love this part of it. The Bible said, when Peter finally saw Christ, he said, if it be thou, bid me come. And Peter jumped down and walked towards him. But midway, another midway, he began to sing. This is the only English in the Bible that I'm going to tell the writers to correct it when we get to heaven. You and I have begun many times to sink, but we've never sunk. Are you hearing me? Anyone that God has given grace to begin to sink when Jesus is around will never sink. I wish, I wish you are hearing what I'm saying. You can only sink when Christ is far away. When Jesus asks you to jump down, you may begin to sink, but you never sink. God told us 
build me a cathedral of the Holy Spirit. Build me houses for the needy. Turn Chapel Hill around. Do a walk in Georgia. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. With a constraining master, resign from being one of the multitudes. Join the one that God is telling today. Get to the boat. Let's go over to the other side. This ministry has just started. Bigger school is coming. Bigger churches are coming. We can't sink when we have not reached the other side. Devil, you may cry and die if you like. No man that God sent to the other side sinks mid-sea. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Sit down. Sit down. I said, sit down. There's no man that God told go to the other side that goes under. You can never go under when you are going over. Jesus said, Go over. Everybody say over. over. To the other side. In your effort to go to the other side, at midway of your vision, expect the way. Expect the storm. But ask yourself these five questions. Has the wind come against me? Many times the devil wants you to think you are doing the wrong thing. I know you and I are almost the same person. The greatest time I get God's visitation in my life is dumb time. When I have storms, I see God. Why do we see storms midway? Number one, the devil wants to give us distraction. He wants to distract you from where you are going. He wants to tell you, you are doing too much. He wants to tell you, you are too much in hurry. The devil forget that God told you, whatever you find to do, do it quickly. If he can distract you, he can direct you. Did you hear me? I said, did somebody hear me? If the devil can distract you, he can direct you. But if you do not allow him to give you distraction, he will never give you direction. Is somebody hearing me this morning? God is saying, yes, there is storm. Yes, there is wind. But look out for Jesus. He is coming to me in the midst of my storm. Reason number two why the devil brings storm 
midway is to force you to lose sight of where you are going. He knows that when storm comes, you are going to panic. He said, I said, oh God, you are going to say, oh me. And oh me never brings results. Amen does. I say, Amen does. Amen is better than oh me. Oh God is better than oh bank. God, you heard that. The cameraman heard that. God is with you in the face of all stars. Five reasons. Why the devil brings storm at midway? Number one, to cause distraction. Number two, to force you lose sight. Number three, to give you choice to turn back. And faith trip, faith way, have no backward steps. When you choose to go with God, the ladder He places you have no downward steps. You didn't hear me. I have had more opportunities to quit the ministry than anyone on earth. Every time I finally say, yeah, that, that's all I'm waiting for. This is the last straw that broke the camel's back. God says to me, where's the camel? too far. Remember you are midway. If you take the same energy to go back as to go forward. Say midway. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Midway. Yes. If you are midway, think. Midway. Midway. Coming from there, going here, midway. Now the devil said, go back. Measure the trip again. Say midway. Yeah. Instead of using the last energy to go to where I'm coming from, why not use the same energy to go to where I'm going? Thank you. One person had it there. Forward is a call to the church. Forward is the voice of God to the church. If the devil asks you to come back, tell him it's too late. Everyone says it's too late. I know too much. Now, so go back. No going back. Say no going back. Why are not going back? Pastors not going back. Church not going back. Hallelujah. Don't go back. Because you are midway. Reason number four. Why the devil challenge you midway. Is for you to think you miss God. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's God who asked me to build this big cathedral. We are right in where we are. Why building millions and millions when nobody was complaining? When you say that, you forget you have done the seeming impossible. When man says it could not be done, God says it can be done. You didn't miss God. You missed the devil.
because he's alive. A dead job doesn't face trouble. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Every time people come to me, they say, Papa, Papa, I need prayer. I say, what for? They say, I'm passing through trouble. I say, go ahead. I say, son, that's the right word. Go through. Go ahead. If you are passing through, go on. You heard what I said. I said, you heard what I said. How many of you have been passing through trouble? How many of you have passed through trouble? That's the gift of God. To pass through and not die is good. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, yes. Pass through. That's why the Bible says if you pass through fire, if you pass through the waters, you will not die. I see a new church coming from. Devil, watch out. If you think you've ever seen anything, the best is yet to come. Say hallelujah. Reason number five. Why the devil wants you to face down in the middle of the sea is so that you pay no cost. You pay no price. People who are not willing to pay any price for the gospel, we have no crown. If Christ be God, where's the artist? Write it. Write it for me. I want it somewhere in this church. If Christ be God and died for me, no price is too much for me to pay for him. Faith is not Christian lotto. It's not Christian lottery. It's not gambling. Faith is life. And my Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. And Paul says, I fought a good fight. God wants you to pay a price of appreciation. When you swim out of trouble, that's a price. When you give tight an offering, that's a prize. When you work for the kingdom, that's a prize. When you join God doing something, that's a prize. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. When my daughter came out just now among the team that won, that fought for championship, my heart was delighted. Many want to win without fighting. Champions are those who fight. Winners are those who took part in something. Ruth is getting scholarship to read law because she jumped up and put something in the basket. I didn't know how to jump for Ruth to jump. She's brilliant in class and good in sports. Nobody says I win when you fight the battle. Don't make Christianity too cheap. I pray people hear what I'm saying. I'm flying back to Florida to fly back to London tomorrow because God asked me to come and tell you what I'm telling you. Don't be distracted. Don't lose your vision.
don't turn back. You haven't missed God. Pay some price. And your ship will not sink. <laughs> oh God Finally Jesus Appeared Walked On the water That was tossing them The Holy Spirit told me this morning Every wave That took you up God is going to put his leg On it Somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Make it a personal covenant for yourself. Every storm that lifted your ship up, God is going to put his leg on top of that water. Are you hearing me? Jesus is coming towards you. One day, my bishop, I was in the seven day prayer and fasting. The last day, I lay flat on the floor in tears. I said, God, all other churches that started before us, the press doesn't say anything about them. They don't make any noise about them. They, they go on air and say, good memorial service was held in the church yesterday. I said, but for us, they write against me. They talk against me. And I heard God say, do you want to be like them? I said, yes, Lord. <laughs> he said, you didn't hear what I said. <laughs> do you want to be like one of them? I said, he, uh, Excuse me. <laughs> he said, dead hen, do not hatch fresh eggs. Dead hens, don't hatch fresh eggs. He said, show me one ministry in Africa that has established 6,814 churches in 17 years. Show me one church that have got 7 million members in 17 years. The day you are free from trouble, be ready to wear your crown. And he said, are you ready? I said, no, sir. How many of you want to die this morning? I can kill you right now. <laughs> Is there anybody who wants to die this morning? Raise your hand. Let me kill you right now. God said to me, at every stage of the ministry, when storm come, look out for me. I'm coming to you and not the devil. Can somebody say amen to that? Yeah. What are you facing this morning? Do you have any crisis in life? The master that steals the tempest is coming. Jesus, the stealer of the tempest, the quencher, a big storm is on the way to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you. The tempest will not last. They will not break before your storm stops. 
is going to stop. And the Lord said to me, do you want to be like them now? I said, no, sir. He said, go forward. Everybody say, go forward. I have been in United States now. Two weeks. I'm going tomorrow. I've got a telephone call nine times from the governor. And three presidential candidates have booked an appointment with my secretary to see me when I arrive. Because I did not die midway. Presidents don't give certificate to churches that die. <laughs> Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Look at verse 31 with me. Immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Stand up with me. I don't know why you left home. But God brought you here. I say God brought you here. Amen. Every storm in your life. Every wave in your life. I can see God stretching his hands. And saying to you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Say with me, God is with me. God is with me. Say it again. God is with me. I'm not sinking. I'm, not sinking. I'm, rising I'm rising up. 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 Make it your song from today. My ship is not sinking. I'm rising up. I have wondered many times. The water was below Jesus' feet. He was walking on the water. Why did the water not toss him? Hear me. Hear me. The wave tossed the ship. Jesus had no sheep. Why did the wave not toss him? He's a master over troubled water. And the master of the troubled water is the one that gave you this assignment. Yeah. Yeah. He gave you this job. He called you. Yes. The water was getting up. Don't complain. Every water in your life has rise, right to rise up. But the man who sent you on an errand He's going to put his leg on top of it. <laughs> He's going to say to every wave, You see my servant? I sent him to the other side. And I'm going to meet him <laughs> in the middle of the sea. 
<laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> say hallelujah. <laughs> say hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. To go back. You've known too much. To go back. The master is too close. To you now. To turn. To the storm. Turn to him. With your tempest. And my Bible said. And they arrived. Everybody said they arrived. arrived. Say it louder. God never sends you in an errand you will never arrive. So, we still need some millions to finish the cathedral. We will arrive. The wind will soon cease because Jesus 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 I said Jesus Jesus is stretching his hands to you and to me heaven have just responded I see with my two eyes your marriage term season, your business term season. And I want to plead with you, sir. Please, this is my application. Don't let these saints agree that there is recession. God told me, only those who turn their back to God have recession. We, say we, we have God, God who, who supplies, supplies all. Need according to his riches in glory. Hallelujah. No recession. No recession. The world, the world have recession. But the saints have reservation. My God and your God ask me to tell you. Change your mouth. Bless yourself. Call to be. They think they are being out as if they were, and it shall be so. The righteous and the unrighteous are not the same. He that keepeth Jerusalem is watching over you. The sparrows still have food, the lilies of the valley still have food. And your God will supply your needs. (laughs) 
I want all of you there to come here with me. I want all of you there to come here with me. We are going to pray agreement prayer. The storm is over. I said the storm is over. Join hand with someone there. Your ship shall arrive. Every sickness and disease in your body is destroyed by the hand that God stretched. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Sickness, leave now. Pain, go now. Disease, leave now. Fear, go now. In the name of Jesus, come out. Right now. Right now. Right now. Whom the Son of God set free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus, your head is healed. Your eyes heal, your neck heal, your chest heal, your womb heal, your feet heal. In Jesus' name, you are healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, heal, 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 heal. You are set free. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.